Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering how to create, compile and execute a program and also I will explain software development lifecycle and various types of errors in C. Guys, I have uploaded complete C language subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain how to create a program. For example, I want to create one C program. So in order to create C program, at first you need to open text editor. For example, if you consider Turbo C, Turbo C is an example of text editor so at first you need to open turbo c in turbo c you need to write your program after writing your program you need to save your program with dot c extension here i am saving my program with name program dot c after creating program next step is compiling program whatever the c program that you written the c program is in high level language that is in english like language so in order to convert this program into machine understandable language you need compiler whenever you click on alt f9 then compiler will convert this program into machine understandable language language that is into zeros and ones at the time object file will be created after compiling program next step is linking program now your program is linked to header file hdao.h this process is known as linking after linking your program with header files then executable file will be created now your program.c file is converted into executable file that is program.exe where exe stands for executable file so whenever you click on alt f9 both compiling and linking will be done whenever executable file is created if you click on control f9 then you can execute your program after executing your program in order to display output you need to click on alt f5 whenever you click on alt f5 then you will get your output this is how we create Create, compile and execute your program. Next, I will explain software development lifecycle. We also call this software development lifecycle as application development lifecycle or program development lifecycle. Before starting this, you need to know some basics. At first, you need to know who are clients. Person who give project to software company is known as client. For example, I want to design one college website. So I went to software company and I asked them to design one college website. So I am considered as client because I am giving project to software company. So I am considered as client. Next, you need to know who are software engineers. Person who do coding to our software is known as software engineer and person who creates flowchart or algorithm is known as software designer person who perform testing in order to find errors in our software is known as testing engineer what testing engineer will do is whatever the code that software engineer written testing engineer will test this code in order to find errors in software this is duty of testing engineer these are four basics that you need to remember totally there are six stages in software development life cycle on that first stage is analysis for example client given project to this software company in order to design one college website how much time and how much cost required in order to complete this project is known as analysis in this we need to identify time how much time that the software required to complete and how much cost it will take and what are the programming language that we required in order to complete this project all these are identified in analysis phase after analysis next phase is designing after detailed analysis of project software designers will design flowchart and algorithm for this project after designing flowchart and algorithm for this project next step is implementation this is third stage in implementation phase software engineers will write software code for this project after creating software code for this project then software engineers will submit this code to testing engineers in order to identify errors present in software for example if there are any errors present in this software then this testing engineers will submit this code back to software engineers so again software engineers will correct that code and again they will submit that code back to testing engineers For example if there are no errors present in this project then in release phase we will submit project to client last step is maintenance maintenance is nothing but updating that software time to time these are six stages in software development life cycle next I will explain programming errors in C any faults that occurs in program Program, which makes behavior of program abnormal is known as programming error we also call this programming error as bugs or faults or you can also call it as mistakes even experienced developers can also make this error totally there are five types of errors in C on that first one is syntax error any error made in syntax is known as syntax error for example actually in int I should be small but instead of taking I as small letter if I take I as capital letter then it is considered as syntax error because because data type should not start with capital letter so instead of taking small letter if I take capital I then it is considered as syntax error and we need to declare variables with data type like actually we need to write like int a equal to 10 if I write just like a equal to 10 without writing data type then it is also considered as syntax error next one is runtime error actually runtime error is nothing
thing but whenever you compile your program that is when, whenever you click on alt f9 then it will not display any error but after executing your program that is at runtime it will display error like for example if i write here int a equal to 2 by 0 if we divide any number by 0 then result will be undefined so whenever you write like int a equal to 2 by 0 it will not display any error during compilation but after executing your program you will not get output because if we divide any number by 0 then result will be undefined so i will not get any output this is known as runtime error third one is linker error actually in main function you need to write m as small letter but instead of taking m as small if you write here m capital then it is considered as linker error and fourth one is logical error in logical error during compile and runtime it will not display any error but it will display wrong output for example i took value of a as 10 value of b as 20 and i return c equal to a plus b now this c contains result so now i need to write printf percentage d comma c because c contains result so i need to print c but instead of printing c if i write here percentage d comma a now i will get output as 10 which is wrong answer mainly beginners will perform such kind of logical errors in logical error we will get undesired output it is error free but incorrect output this is known as logical error and last one is semantic error whatever the statements that we written in our c program if these statements are not understandable by compiler then it is considered as semantic error these are five types of errors in c programming